Part 2. Verdant Wind. Garland Moon. The Chaos of War. Claude's plan to call in all Myron forces succeeds, and the Alliance army captures Fort Mercius. Before they can celebrate their victory, javelins of light rain down from the sky and destroy the fort. Forced to temporarily evacuate, the Alliance army regroups at Garrig Mach until it is ready to march on Enbar, the Imperial capital. It's almost time to invade the Imperial capital. We still don't know where Rhea is, but if she's alive, she's likely in Enbar. Hopefully we manage to find her without too much trouble. I know, but if we're not careful, she'll just be whisked away again. I'm sure you must be anxious to see her again. Well, if that's what you want, I'll do my best to make it happen. But we're going up against Edelgard here. It won't be so simple. <sighs> Our next stop is the Imperial Capital. We've sure come a long way. What are you talking about? This is Garrick Mach. It's where we started. I didn't mean literally, Raphael. I was speaking symbolically. My earnest desire to protect the Alliance has carried me this far. It will not fail me. I am sure the rest of you all have your own reasons to fight as well. Of course, I understand that the fight will not end until we defeat the Empire. And now the time has arrived at long last to march on the Imperial capital and defeat the Emperor. It really gets you thinking, doesn't it? We all come from different places and have different goals and dreams. But thanks to those two, we were all able to come together and overcome all sorts of challenges. You are referring to Claude and the Professor, I assume. Even within our own odd group, those two are particularly unusual. Oh, so you are aware that you're odd. Well, that's... It was simply a figure of speech. I am speaking about Claude and the Professor right now. They're like the wind and the trees. Huh? Claude and the Professor are? What does that even mean? And who is which? Oh, um... I was just thinking that if we're the birds, then those two are like the trees and the wind. The Professor is a great tree that kindly embraces us and watches over us as we perch on its branches. And Claude is like the wind, pushing us forward as we soar across the open sky. Hmm, the metaphor about the Professor is solid, but I think Claude just blows us around on a whim. Still, we owe him a lot. I think that's beautiful, Marianne. I can really picture it. When this war is over, I'd love to paint a picture of those two. Oh, and of all the people we've fought with as well. You mean like a historical painting? I like that. Maybe our descendants will look at it a long, long time from now. I must say, that piques my interest. I look forward to seeing how you portray my valiant efforts. When you put it that way, we may be witnessing one of the greatest events in Fodland's history. It's a lot of pressure, but the sense of duty I feel is even stronger than the fear. I'm just happy to be here with all of you. I won't get scared, no matter what we face. We have our goal. Enbar, the Imperial Capital. Let's get to work. You, get over here. Get over here? <laughs> How about I tell you to get out of here? You're always following me around. At least make yourself useful. What? Are you serious? I don't joke. Draw your weapon. And let if you want to train, then do it on your own. If you don't attack first, I will. 
Okay. If you want me to knock some sense into you, who am I to say no? For someone whose only aspiration is marriage, you're pretty strong. <laughs> is this your attempt at flattery? Oh, it is, isn't it? When I was in the opera, I always trained for self-defense. Couldn't really get by without it. Nowadays, if you can't use a sword, then you're just in the way. Perhaps I had you all wrong. I thought you were just a frivolous girl who cared only for men of status. On the contrary, you seem well aware of the realities of the world. I respect that. Yeah, yeah, all right. <sighs> I'm beat. I'm going to go sit down and relax with a cup of tea. You'll join me, naturally. I will? We just trained together. Are you really going to turn me down? <sighs> just this once. Good. Let's go for tea. While we're at it, shall you treat me to a meal? Don't get carried away. No, oh, you're no fun. Hey, welcome. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. You have a good eye. A pleasure doing business. Come again. Hello there. This one, yes? I think 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 you. Return soon, please. Hello! Will this one do? It's all yours. Take it. Will this one do? It's all yours. Tell your friends. Welcome! Nardell guy, or Nadir, I suppose. It was all some trick, and we fell for it. <laughs> I don't think the nickname The Undefeated applies if he flees from us. Though, maybe he only got that name by running away. Can't be defeated if you run off, right?
Hold me back. me back. I'll never back down. Never back down. Hey. The Death Knight is no I will prey upon him. I will quench my blade's thirst with his blood. His focus is on fighting you, I'm sure. But mine will be the last face he sees. Delicious food really takes my worries away. I would be liking that greatly. That looks delicious. Hmm. I like seeing a table full of my favorite dishes. fires me up. Hoorah! Let's go fight somebody! I like this dish. It was my... This is my absolute favorite! Finally, once we smash the impact, Monica, I know that the future of all, but for me, this is personal. Rhea will be somewhere. If we are able to save her, then I expect you will learn many secrets that have hitherto been kept from you. Are you prepared for that? Excellent. The battle will soon be upon us. Let us both be at our best for what is to come. This experience is critical.
please. of the capital. The city has such a long heritage, but we can't... to go to the opera there with me. I never thought my return would be like this. Hmm. If we could... Maybe he'll tear down the wall that said... I know it's hard, but I re... I might even... In the opera, actors came and went. I'll bet I'd know a few of them now. They've probably left the capital by now. Professor, I am sorry that I doubted your... It is obvious to me now that you are extraordinary. Do you doubt your own... I suppose that you've lived your whole life knowing next. Not even Gerald could have possibly known all there is to know about you. But I wonder... Are you content not knowing who you are? was a foolish question, of course. So, only one more question matters. The truth. All of it. Learning it will doubtlessly have direct consequences on your life. You may decide, once you learn it, that you wish you hadn't. So, are you ready to know the truth? I see. That is what I wish to hear. Since the Archbishop put so much faith in you, I will continue to offer my aid. More than that, I will put my faith in you as well, and I will do all that is within my power to help you someday reach the truth. Born in Enbar. My mother, I do not understand how war can happen. Please. with others is a nice change of pace. Usually I do it when I'm alone. I can't sing very loud.
I'm getting it. Let's... Let's show them the power we've acquired. We will be doing the... We had a... I still need to improve. Yeah, I'm getting it. 